Hi, this is my tiny, tiny space, and I don't believe in wasting any of the space that I have. In fact, right behind here, there's a four foot wide space that I'm going to go ahead and have it thrive for me. And I'm gonna show you every single step that I do and take care of in order to get the most out of every square inch. Space is behind this panel right here. It does cover where it doesn't get that much light. So the first thing I look at is how can I get everything to get light? And there's two ways I'm gonna do it. One is I'm gonna get some planters that are tall enough that they're taller than this existing planter so that whatever I grow there, and I think it's gonna be peppers, are gonna get sufficient light. And the second one is I want flowers for the pollinators back there because it's kind of hidden. So I'm gonna grow plants that grow really tall so that they also can get some light. So anything that I grow there, I want it to get at least six hours of sun. The tiny space is really nice because it's actually introduced by two rose trees and these are absolutely beautiful and flower all summer long. So it is a great way to find something to introduce the space. I also started this pathway of stones, which another time I'm going to be completely redoing it. I'm going to use the same stones, but I think I want them closer together so there's not much of a gap in between. And it will go and run all the way along the back side. So I'll show you exactly what I'm planning to do with the space. I also have this corner here that I just store these things that I don't do anything with them. This uh, bag, so I'm going to get rid of these. And I bought something that I think is going to be perfect. This planter goes to here and that way I can plant some peppers back here and they'll be high enough that they'll get sun and I'll be able to get more peppers in the space. I will be clearing the left side and creating something that softens the look of the harsh lines of the planter. area is really narrow so I want to be able to place something that will fit because this is like maybe 12 inches so I'm gonna try to place these things I bought that are long these planters and hopefully they'll be as high as this so that way they get plenty of sun which right now since that's so slow it doesn't get any sun almost as high. On this one, I had my husband cut out this here because if I grow peppers, they have a deep root and I want to, I think this is only 14 inches deep, I want to be able to have them grow all the way down and have plenty of space since it's really narrow. So here's the tray that it brings. We cut the inside off and that way I can grow better things otherwise this is not very firm so now with that I can grow tomatoes or peppers anything like that it works really well it doesn't need a lot of width it just needs a lot of depth I do have to fix all the stones because now with this um, I feel like I need to put better stones here but it works it looks good
I filled it up with compost to almost half, not quite half, but the rest is gonna be this fox farm frog. If I don't have enough, then I'll put on the top, very top, um, a different potting soil I have, but I wanna put some of this happy frog because being in a narrow container, I want some really good soil in it. Ooh, that was heavy. So it's almost to the point where I'm gonna put this and see has to hold. But I'm gonna put it in because it's almost to that level before I place this garden frog, happy frog soil in. Oh, that is too heavy. I cannot pick it up. And I don't want this to fall over with uh, the heavy bag. So I'm gonna do half of this bag like this and then I can pour it. I'm not gonna fill it all the way because I'll put soil when I plant my peppers here. I'll add the soil around them. But that's great. It's perfect. If you're enjoying the video or getting value out of it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel to grow and reach more cozy gardeners. I removed all of the alliums I had in this space. They have not done well for the past year because the rain has been too much and the onions types of plants do not like that much rain. So I decided I wanted better plants that are much taller and grow a lot more flowers than just the allium flower that it grows here. And the first thing I needed to do was get the soil ready. I had to take a pitchfork and move it a little bit. What was there? There's a lot of roots from the trees. And then I added garden soil and also added my fish compost that I like so much. You don't have to grow by digging a hole all the time. I do this a lot and it allows me to plant things on top of the soil that's there existing. I selected flowers that I thought were gonna grow nice and tall and also that the bees really love because I have peppers right there. I want to have a lot of flowers to entice the bees to go behind. So I am using some of the zinnias I had the Alpen Glow Xenia. And I'm super excited to see how it looks. I have some Aster China Asters. I also have some Yarrow, which I think will be really beautiful with the smaller scale flowers. And then on either either existing dahlias that I already had there that I'm gonna keep them because the scale is larger. So I think it will look really sort of cottagey in style. It will be really beautiful and full. In everything that I plant, I always try to put some biotone on the root of the plant, and then I add some fertilizer, whether it's for flower or vegetables. 